know, my husband has always been one of those wild rascals. You know, the kind you read about on TV and stuff. You know, I'm a product of the 90s. It was a different time back then. The message back then was you were supposed to take your kids to ESPN Sports Zone if you were a husband and play the basketball game with them, maybe enter into the couch potato contest. I never won. I came very close, you know, but ultimately it's my son, Brad, he won. I honestly don't think he understands the struggles of being a woman. It's hard being a woman in today's society. Guys are hitting on me all the time when we go into the restaurants and I gotta say no. I'm married, you know. I'm a married lady. And Harold, you know, he's not really forward thinking, so. No menage trout for me. I'm stuck with him. I'm stuck with his lame carcass. It's hard, you know, having having such an independent wife, having to stay at home and watch nothing but football and Big Bang Theory reruns. I keep telling my wife that we should get a Netflix subscription, but she's like, But honey, all you ever want to watch is Monday Night Football. It's all you've ever watched for your entire life. You know, and maybe it is, but I, I, at least I'd like to have the choice to watch hockey if I wanted to. Yeah, such outdated ideas about women, you know. As a woman, I, I'm offended, frankly. I feel like my I'm not reaching up to my full potential, you know. I mean, sure, I'm the CEO of a major company, but I always feel like I could be so much more, like... I miss my purpose in life. You know, it's, it's a strange existence I find myself in. Married to a successful businesswoman. She, this woman runs her entire ship. She has control and a, a say over the lives of like 5,000 employees. And yet somehow, somehow, get this, she wants to be a singer, that's right. She wants to be, appear on The Voice. And she wants to appear on American Idol. And the last time she was relevant was when she collaborated with Neon Stereo back in the 90s. And it's like, that was the 90s. And it wasn't even that good a song. It wasn't even a song worth listening to. Why do you keep blasting it from your room, Marcy? Can you please shut that thing off? The kids are listening. You want them to hear this? My husband doesn't know how it is to have jewelry digging into your forehead or having your necklace stuck inside your ear, you know. It, society places such expectations on us women. It, it's hard, you know. I, I'm not used to it. it. It's a real struggle every day. But, you know, for the most part, he's an understanding husband. He tries his best put up with my ambitions and my wants and needs, and it's a happy relationship, albeit a modern one, you know? It's a very modern type relationship, and I'm just glad we've been able to make it work, you know? It's hard sometimes. And you know, having youngsters, it's pretty tough. I have to keep explaining to them, your mother isn't home right now, it's me. Do you want some Cheez-Its? That's all the food we have. Oh, and some Hot Pockets. I'm not a gourmet chef, but my wife isn't a gourmet chef either. So my children are going to have to grow up learning to deal with tap water, mankind's best food. I grew up on tap water. Why can't they grow up with tap water? It's filling. It's a tasty meal, you know? These ungrateful youths with their TikToks. I'm a product of the 90s. The kids, he takes them down to school every day. He's like, hey kids, bye. I really don't think he's that attentive a father, even though he stays at home all the time. You know, because he's watching the big game. And I gotta fix him his Totino's pizza rolls. Actually, usually he fixes those for himself. But I mean, he's living on a diet of Totino's and root beer. And 
My Chard Lemonade and Cheez-Its. I honestly don't know how he lives, you know? And I swear, they have some really backwards ideas. Like, for instance, my son, Brad, he doesn't even wear a scarf anymore. He, he, he shaves his head to look masculine. Can you imagine? A husband's place is in the home, obviously. But my son, Brad, wants to be the all-star football quarterback. And much as I love football, I can't imagine men being in football. Men's place is in the home, and a woman's place is in the workforce. That's what we were taught back in the 90s, anyway. I don't cook for him. I expect him to cook for himself. The last time he said he had some kind of masterful recipe ready, it was like a nightmarish taco from the other world. I, I, I just don't know if, if he can function as a grown adult, you know? These days, it seems like the youth are embracing traditional gender roles again, and that's a real problem. Remember, traditional gender roles are for morons. If, you, if, if you're not a misogynist, let your wife go to work, and you just stay at home, kick back. It's fun to be at home every once in a while, you know, just, just lying around, and you can take care of the youngsters. And I enjoy it. I get a kick out of it, you know, but every so often they'll draw a penis on the wall or something and I'll have to be like, time to clean this up. And they'll be like, but daddy, we don't have any paint. So I'll just get the jar of white out from, from the shelf and I'll be like, okay, use this instead. And they, they're they not willing to do it because they're little assholes. So I'm like, okay, I'll get out, I'll, 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 I'll wipe this off because you, you people don't know how to behave. You, 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 you little miscreants. I, I, be, I feel like being in the workforce all the time. You know, I, 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 you know, I make a lot of money and uh, I get to put together so many incredible PowerPoint presentations, but I feel like my husband is completely incompetent. Well, like he's an idiot or something. I know I shouldn't feel like that, but that's just how you feel after, what's it been, 12 years of marriage? So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll spend the rest of my afternoon doing this when I could be watching the NFL on primetime Mondays, baby. I could be eating my Totino's pizza rolls right about now, but you're forcing me to clean up your vandalism, which lowers the price of our house on the real estate market. Of course, our young rapscallions don't understand real estate and the value of a home. <laughs> you know, if, if we didn't care as parents, we might, God forbid, live in an apartment. I mean, can you imagine living in an apartment? Luckily, we bought the house back in the 90s when home prices were really, really low. You know, it, it's hard. And, and to be honest, I'm approaching middle age at this point, and it's getting old. I'm not getting old, but it's getting old. I'm sick of the responsibilities that being a modern woman puts on me. I wish I could sit down and crack open a beer and watch the big game. But I wasn't raised like that. I was raised in the 90s, and in the 90s everyone was told that a woman's place is in the workforce, in the big office, with the big job. And the husband's place was at home taking care of the kids, so I took that statement at face value, and I faced my entire life around it, and look at me now. And, uh, you know, it was before the 2008 recession. We weathered through that. It was okay. And soon after, you know, uh, it, 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 was, it was fair sailing for the most part, but man, it, it was really something else, you know. My wife wants to be a singer. Her voice isn't even that good. She, she, she wouldn't draw crowds on the middle of a downtown street, much less Carnegie Hall. But she thinks she has some kind of innate talent. And I, I have to go along with it, you know, because as, as a product of the 90s, I was always taught, do whatever your wife wants. You know, if she wants to be a big time singer, go ahead and support her dreams. And I suppose that's why we haven't been divorced yet, because I just got to keep supporting her no matter what decision she makes. Like when she decided to convert the entire garage into a boutique where she could show off her makeup line. 
I was like, I think you're falling for a multi-level marketing scheme, Marcy. And she's like, no, Harold, this is my life. This is my big plan. I'm the owner of a Fortune 500 company, and I don't even feel that fulfilled. Actually, we're not a Fortune 500 company. We're only a Fortune 10,000 company. Can't have everything, can you? And I'm like, okay, it's not a multi-level marketing scheme, it's your own company, but I wish it was a multi-level marketing scheme, so I'd feel justified in trying to get you to abandon it. But unfortunately, she is the owner and operator of an entire makeup business, and to the best of my knowledge, it's not an MLM, but you bet, if it was, I would, wouldn't do anything, because I'm a scrawny weakling, and I have no real say in the matter. Anyway, he's a good husband. I feel like he satisfies my needs. He's okay in the sack as far as that goes. I, I just feel like there's more to life. Sometimes I stare out the window and I wonder what it could have been like if I hadn't married him. And then I'm like, I did marry him. What's the point? And imagining that I didn't. Then I go back inside and he's watching football, and I'm like, what do you see in this game, dear? It's so fucking boring. And he's like, shut up. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go get myself a drink or something. And then I go to sleep, and that's pretty much it. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose, and... Who knows, really, in the day? Huh? It's hard being an enlightened husband, but I think we make it work for the most part. We have two nice youngsters, a nice house. Uh, our marriage isn't that great, but we have a nice house. And at the end of the day, isn't that really all that matters?